So I got a little over ambitious and I thought maybe I'd be going on to Agrax baths today, but I don't think that'd be happening. I'm listening to the golf rockers. Put it down to five. Yeah, listen to the golf rockers. This song's called More Ducka. Because look at that. Oh, get me more, get me more Ducka. So yeah. Oh, Jesus, almost dropped him. Pardon the French. So I didn't get as far as I wanted. Although I did do all their teeth since last time I recorded. So all their teeth are done. I gave this guy coveralls. It's like a hillbilly. And I finished off the scheme on my father's model here. I gave him the black belts and stuff. Kind of touched up his skin and everything. So that's kind of what I'm going for right here. He's ready for his Agrax bath. Same with this guy. So, let's just keep doing that then, I suppose. And I'll get out the... Uh, The Rhinox hide. Let's have that going. <clears throat> I also listened to myself a little bit in that last video, and I don't know. I feel like I'm putting on a voice or something. I'm nervous. I'm just gonna try to be a little less nervous this this go around. I don't know why I'm nervous. Probably should have shook that first. Oh well, it's brown. Alrighty, am I getting picked up here? Yep. Now let's zoom in, Tad. Look how dirty my fingers are. Look how dirty those fingers are. Okay. So I was planning on just painting his uh, his whole thing here brown. Give him a leather backpack. So that should be pretty uh, straightforward, huh? Just paint everything brown, except maybe the belts and the um, those bullet packs on his back. Bullet packs on a neat pack on his back there. That's what I did so far. I was out of shot, but I only did this part. <laughs> this song's called Gas Ghouls, a goth rocker. I like these guys. <clears throat> I think if I had the money to run my own kind of personal concert, it'd be Gore headlining. It'd be the the main main event, and then Primus, and uh, sorry, and Psycho Stick, and the Goth Rockers. And it'd just be a fun time. Just a bunch of bands that are fun. And if I had the money to do that, I'd, I'd, uh, see if I could get them to uh, do tribute songs to each one because it'd be cool to hear Gore play a Primus song or something 
I think anyway. And Prime is playing a war song. And be fun to hear Prime is their uh, Psycho Stick do a uh, goth rocker song. Or whoever. Just be fun to. I like tribute songs. I think they're kind of fun. Whoops. Oh, well, I can paint over that again when I'm doing the black. <laughs> that was a mistake. Oops. That was an oopsie. Oh, well. I got too caught up in the thought of uh, making my own concert to thing. The onset stages of dementia. I'm wearing my hat today, if anyone sees my bill coming in this in the screen there. And if you can't see my hat, three guesses as to what my hat says on it. Mm. Is it the Disciples of the Wa, I do believe? Yep. Oh yes, I should mention why I am wearing my hat to begin with. It's because uh, I've got a lamp set up beside my uh, camera on my phone that's recording this. And it blocks the light from it because I find it very bright. It's hard on the old eyes. I find it hard on the eyes, boss. And be like a clockwork orange and be like, it blazes the vidies in me glossies. Oops, painted a bullet there. Let me fix that. Shouldn't have made fun of it. Clockwork Orange, it's a classic. What's wrong? <clears throat> I don't know if that got picked up, but one of my nieces just screamed, if you were wondering if you heard that. Yep. Good. I'm getting a bit better at putting my hands in frame. I don't know why I'm trying to be particular around this uh, gun casing here, right here, that I'm slapping paint on right now. I didn't paint that. I'm just realizing that. Normally I paint them with some lead belcher and then I fire some contrast paints on them to... make them look fancy, but... Or magazines, I should say, I don't mean gun casings. I apologize to uh, people who own guns. Don't shoot to me. 
Not that I have an issue with anyone owning guns or allowed to. Just don't fucking shoot people with them. Jesus, is it that hard? Disciples of the wall. My internet isn't the greatest, so if you hear skipping in the song, it's probably because uh, the Wi-Fi is dropping or something. It does that a lot. Gotta reset the router every five seconds. Thanks, Bill. I don't know what kind of a person Alexander Graham Bell actually was. Maybe he would grin ear to ear at seeing people getting gouged by his company, but I don't know. Hopefully he would have been upset about it. Here we go. Here we go. Don't know where till we get there. Should I go for brown on this guy? Maybe his belt around his waist <clears throat> and his leg. And the belt's kind of no. Yeah, maybe I should make them match and then make that black. Yes. Yes. So I'm going to make the belt around his waist here. You can see. The belt went around his waist. I'm going to go for brown to break up the black shirt and the pants. Same with the belt around his leg. And then uh, the belt's attached to his backpack here. So then when I do the strap on his gun, I can make that black. And just break it up more. I'd have to say this is my favorite uh, golf rocker song. The four mechanics. Blood axes, death skulls, bad moons, goths. Riding the green tide. Bum to take your life. Under the red of night. Could be getting the lyrics wrong, but mostly don't really look at lyrics, although I should.
paintbrush. <coughs> paintbrush got stuck uh, in my palm there when I was trying to manhandle it back into my fingers. sometimes just the way the light is you should get something that kind of brings light down from the top well I do have like this big light it's not mine but I could probably use it for the time being because it's not being used and uh, kind of jerry-rigged something Jerry rig something that uh, suits the purpose. If it works, it works, am I right? I mean, what kind of a mech boy would <clears throat> would I be if you didn't jerry rig things from time to time? You just get that. <clears throat> I, know. I accidentally did that part right here. Oops, I did this by mistake. Like that. I want his shirt to be black. But I can fix that. That's easy. That's the back and forth I was talking about. But that's also the uh, work philosophy, is it not? I made a mistake, but that's not even a mistake, man. I can just go back and it's another go. Come back for another go. That's all. I hope another go comes on. I like that too. That is a cool tune. My tummy's grumbling. My belly is hungry. I'll grab something to eat after this. Possibly. Add another layer to this here. Pouch. Another backpack. On the side of his backpack. Mm, yes. Good. That's good. That all looks good to me. Slap some in there. I'll just put that in my paint. Alright, let's see if I can do that while keeping in frame and not touching the skin or the bullets. Well, I think that was good enough for that part. Kind of the more difficult part to get to. If I touch his pants and stuff, that's alright because I can. I'm just going back in there with black anyway. Okay, so his belt is there. Ooh, this is another good one. The red button. Ooh, there's something fun to talk about. Orcs believe that the uh, color red is the fastest color, so... <clears throat> A lot of orc vehicles... Have all their engines and turbines and thrusters and everything that they've 
attached to their vehicle. Normally, a mech boy does this. And, uh, <laughs> and the red button has uh, is attached to every single one of them. So when you hit the red button, every single engine fires off. And it can result in one of two things. Uh, either the speed freak goes really fast in his, in his vehicles, just like that, go faster. Or they explode. It's one of two. So yeah. If only we could be all be so fortunate as to have a red button in our vehicle. But that's also why I paint my boys' boots in red. Because, uh... I want them to get there faster. I noticed on this guy's boots right here, I believe that's a metal plate, so I gotta paint that uh, metal at some point. With the herdy syringe. Pork and Mork. Zog and Ostile. We are with the Orcs. Just painting up his belt and fast. Well, not really fast. Kind of wish I had a red button. Oops. Sometimes I don't dry off my brush good enough and a big blob of water lands on... Uh, lands in my palette and then it waters down my paint beyond all paintability turns into a glaze and I'm not particularly too good at that yet or at all oops oops oh well I'm going back in there with black anyway as you can see, I don't, I don't think I have the painting prowess to try glazes or wet blending and stuff. <clears throat> that and I find my paint dries way too quick. When I try to wet blend. And I get like these weird streaks. It's not so much a streak, it's like the bit of paint dries faster around the edges so it leaves like the edge mark of um, my painting and I noticed on some of these guys that I didn't really get rid of their mold lines and I'm sorry it's bothering me too but just something I gotta deal with. Zagana style. These mold lines are making me.
And when we get there, Well, the song's called Die Umi Scum. Umi is the, uh, is what orcs call humans. It's an Umi. Yeah. fun being interested in things but then it sucks because it's like I can't really explain this stuff to someone in a normal setting <clears throat> like when you have such odd interests it's hard to talk about those interests with people because I don't know. It seems weird, but then at the same time, I don't really care if anyone thinks I'm weird because if I did, I probably wouldn't be making videos painting orcs, right? Just do what I do when I like doing what I do. Which is kind of why I want to make the videos, is just to let people know that you should enjoy doing what you're doing. You shouldn't worry about what anyone thinks. It's just hard to find a conversationalist, you know what I mean? This is a fun song. I'll save that for black. The mob rule. It's a really good, uh, what do you call it, tribute tune to the Mob Rules by ACDC. But I kind of like this one better. Zog me. I missed a tooth. More clickety clacking. Sorry. There we go. Do 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 do. Let's just get a little bit of Zandri dust on there. Yorp. Clean my brush. Tick, 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 tick.
Oh, jeez. Whoops. I'll fix that, <laughs> I think. I think I made a mistake. No, I didn't. My hand just twitched in the right spot, I guess. Orgasmatron, or Orgasmatron, whoops, forget I said that first one. Just take this, that part of the video and put it in a video editor and edit that part out if you want. That's something I should start looking into, is how to edit videos. And maybe these would be more interesting if they were uh, in a compilation of videos edited into one, as opposed to me just rambling on for 20 to some, 40 some minutes by myself. Because another one of the interesting demographics on those videos is the, uh, watch length and it's approximately one minute and I find that particularly interesting because normally that's about as long as anyone can tolerate being around me is a minute <laughs> a minute and 20 seconds to be precise oh wow look at this guy he's pretty cool let's listen to him one minute oh god almighty shut him up Stop talking. Why won't he go away? He's still talking about orcs. Well, I didn't let that dry enough, so I'm gonna just go back to the browns. Back to them belts. There's one on his leg that I said I was going to do that I missed. Thanks for pointing that out. <clears throat> Otherwise, I would have missed it. Like I did with the metal plating on his boots. I missed a couple of guys' boots, metal plating things, shin shin guards. I guess. <clears throat> if an orc could have shins, I guess it would be a shin guard. What you mean? I ain't got shins, boss. I've got the shiniest shins. So shiny. Pip, 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 pip. Grab a bit more brown off of here. Brown paint. <clears throat> brown paint on brown belts. That was a reference if anybody knows what I'm referencing. Those boys were happy. Oh, we're back to Disciples of the Law.
what happened to uh, another go? That ain't on here no more. Well, how long has this been? 36 minutes. Oh, well, I may as well round it off around here. So here's what I did. I'm still dumb at this. But yeah, I just got a... Grr. I just got the uh, backpack and belts. Still didn't fix up that thing. There's the shin things that I didn't paint. But yeah, there's the belts in there. As good as I could get. Another thing too is if you make a mistake or if you got paint that you gotta get like right in there, you see see up in his hand where his hand is and up in there where that belt is i'm just going to do my best to make it look presentable but i'm not going to focus too much on it because who in their right mind is going to be like excuse me you you didn't paint in there exactly um you should actually paint in there to which i'd say no <laughs>